Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about the what of Etsy SEO for our Easy Etsy SEO course. And this is the, the when you're writing your titles, or writing your, probably writing your titles, this is probably the easiest one to do, which is why we're starting with it. This is the what is this thing, right? So if you're looking at anything around you in the world, this is, what is this thing? It is a bone folder. And it's the reason why it's called a bone folder, even though it's made of plastic, is because they used to be made out of bone and they were used in bookmaking and bookbinding and things like that. So isn't that interesting that the first thing I picked up is if we were to go with like what is it made of it's made of plastic but what is this um this is it's a bone folder right so today we're going to go through and try to figure out how we can do really good what's right and i love this little shop this is adrian i think it's adrian the artist adrian um dream and bohemian and she uh, makes the most amazing tennis shoes. So I'm going to go and pick these because these are super cool. So what are they? Okay. So they are tennis shoes. They're also sneakers. That's what they were called where I came from. They could be athletic shoes. They're uh, Chuck Jordan's. Chuck Jordans. They're Chucks. And I don't know what they're really called. Jordan. I don't know. I have like four pairs. Let's see what they're called. Chuck Jordans. Chuck Taylors. Chuck Jordan. What are those tennis shoes called? Chucks. Tennis shoes. Do we have tennis shoes? We have tennis shoes. Converse. That's it. Chuck. All Star. Converse. All Star. Right? So all of those in like. 30 seconds, we've got all different kinds of words for what the item is, right? They're high tops. High top, high tops. You could put in your tags. Um, so they're tennis shoes. What also are they? They're painted, right? Hand painted, hand made. Now, this is the funny thing. Oops, <laughs> I almost messed up. I just did this the other day. This is really interesting. So hand painted, hand made, hand made. This is um, marmalade that you can use to check and see which has higher search volumes. I'll include a link to this below. It is a paid service. I pay for it. For my own shop. Okay, so handmade gets three thirty six hundred searches a month, and then hand painted gets three hundred, and handmade with a space between it only gets five hundred. So we would want to maybe include in the title handmade, right? And then maybe have hand painted. I wouldn't. Uh, well, I guess handmade could go in the tags because that even has more than hand painted. Hand painted is not, people aren't looking specifically for that. And we want Google back because we're going to go back to Google. Okay. So now she has rainbow. Um, I'm okay with that. Rainbow Phoenix. Phoenix. But it's a bird, right? It's, uh, I think it's more of a yellow bird, okay? So we have 
Tennis shoes, sneakers, athletic shoes, Chucks, Converse, All-Star, High Top, Handmade, Rainbow, Phoenix, Bird, Yellow. All right, let's see if there's anything else exciting that she has in here. Hand-painted, hand-painted, that might even be even worse. Hand-painted, maybe it'll be better. Thinking, thinking, think. It just takes a minute to think when uh, I'm making videos. Usually takes a second to think. Okay, so that's even worse. So, handmade is beating us out, hand painted all over. Okay, so now what else do we have? Uh, ooh! <laughs> Men's, adult. Good ones. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. High tops. High tops. Is it high top or high tops? I'm going to check. Wow. Let's use Uber Suggest, which is a Google, um, it's a free keyword generating tool. Um, so we're going to do high tops. Search volume 6600, and now we're going to do high tops, 14,000. So it's H-I-G-H. -H. And the reason why I went to Uber Suggest, and I'll put a link to this in here, um, rather than using Marmalade for this, because Marmalade is an Etsy search tool, and this is a, you know, internet search tool. Um, the reason why I went with this is because the search volume is so low, would be so low for something specifically like this, that we wouldn't be able to get a good, um, a good, uh, good result. So cute. Okay. Dragon feathers, painted chucks. There's chucks. Yay, we have chucks. Dreaming Bohemian, customized, customized. Are they customized? Customized to me feels like, customized to me feels like you could put your name on it. Maybe you can but I wouldn't use customize just for that. Okay, so we're doing good. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go to regular Google. So we could do um, hand painted high tops. See if Uber suggest has anything to suggest. Very low surge volume. Uh, hand painted high tops, Converse, sneakers. So we got everything that we could, but let's go to Google. Hand painted high tops. Okay. Now I'm using a tool called Keyword Edi Everywhere. Um, and I will make sure to put a link to that over here. Keywords Everywhere. Um, and that is just in my um, Chrome browser and it'll give us related keywords. So here. This is exactly what we want, um, so we know we're there. Painted canvas, high tops, sunflowers. Now, this is also really good for um, product development because you could see what, like, people want flowers, sunflowers, things like that. Galaxy, um, white converse. Ooh, white converse. So, what is it? They're black converse, right? Black. So, we can put black here. So those are all keywords that I would use to describe what this is. And right there, we have enough for titles probably in most of the tags. Um, not to say that I would stick with that. I would, I would do a lot more research. But as far as a what goes, that's what the what is. And I'm going to grab this listing 
and put it over here. Okay, yay. I'm gonna grab these keywords. Now, okay, now, would I do a whole listing on just what? Probably not, you know. Uh, I see she has rave, I see she has music festival, those are wares, like we'll do those another day. But, um, but it's always good to know, to start with, what is this factually correct? Now, you may not have something easy like Chuck Taylor's eye tops, right? Converse eye tops. You may have something super weird like my friend Covetable Curiosity's evil eye charm, right? So people do search for, um, do search for Converse's but how many people got up this morning and thought, oh, I want an evil eye charm, right? So let's start over again and see what kind of cool things we want. Evil eye charm, okay? So that is for sure an evil eye charm. She says it's handcrafted enamel and metal. Darn it, I don't like when that big. Handcrafted enamel and metal. Okay, I'm not sure that I would have that. Like, it might be okay. It might be something that she's found that people want to know. Like, it's a question that comes up a lot. Are those plastic evil eye charms? But for me, I would more put in handcrafted enamel and metal in your um, materials. See right here? where you can put them in your materials. Um, and also, and she and I have talked about this, she has evil eyes, evil eye, evil eye pins, and, and that's how it used to be, um, that it was best to do. Now things have changed. Um, now that's not to say, I mean, she sells a, a lot of these, but we want to get her to sell even more. So it's an evil eye charm. Like I said, I would put this in the materials, probably. Um, I do like metal charms. Yeah, I... Okay, we're going to leave it up there. I want that. I think she's right. Um, so they're tiny, small, and miniature. And I want to go back over here, and I want to find out which is the best word to use. Tiny. Small, miniature, okay. Now with, with her um, title, once she has evil eye in there once, maybe twice, right? Um, then she's just wasting space. Ah, see, she's got some good stuff in here, but she's got evil eye a lot. Okay, we're going to get her some more words, right? Funny story, I always call her quote table instead of covetable. In my head, you know. Okay, so where are we at? So, ooh, miniature. Miniature is great. Tiny and small. Let's leave them there for now. I'm not sure. I mean, I think that 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 could be important. Yeah, and it spelled it. I spelled it right up there. Okay, so miniature. Okay, bulk. I like that she. Um, she offers it in bulk. Bulk to me often goes with wholesale, right? That could, I mean, those could be possibly in, um, wholesale could be in tags, right? So select style. 
six millimeter, two six millimeters, three six millimeters, one. So you can order just one. Okay, nice. Um, so let's let's go with. So they are jewelry charms. So we want jewelry. And we want, we want to know, do they search more for charm or charms? And we haven't really focused on this yet. Um, doing the plural versus singular. But I think this is kind of an interesting thing that we really want to help her get bound for. Um, so it's charms for sure. And then we want charm down here in our tags. Okay. And now I want to go up here. Oh, well, let's do it this way. Let's do it the Etsy way first. Um, she has drops. I don't know what drops are. Maybe it's a maybe it's a term. So we're gonna leave it in there. Poor letters. I can live with it. Pins. Pins. Is it a pin? Miniature, blah, 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 I don't know about pins. They love them, though. Look at that. People are loving the charms. Okay. So I'll, I'll leave pins in the, in the tags. I'm not sure. I, maybe because they come on those cool, um, I think they're called gourd pins. She may sell them that way, um, which would be fun. I mean, I really like those pins myself. Okay. So let's go up here and we're going to start charms for bracelets for necklaces. Okay. Bracelets, necklaces. Big, 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 really big, 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 big. Charm pack. Let's see what. Charms pack. What is that? charm pack somebody has that as their as a um i wouldn't use that uh i would not use that somebody's using that as a product name charms for earrings charms in bulk okay charms for earrings And six millimeter, I'm assuming is, it says tiny, so I'm going with you could use it in an earring. Okay, so now we have earrings. Okay. Now she has a couple of words down here. So she gets home and living, spiritual and religion, prayer beads and charms, lucky charms and amulets, matty charm. Let's see what a matty charm is. That's what it is. So now we can have matty in front of that charm. Okay, what else we got? Religious medallion. I found that one for her. It's really good. I don't know how to spell medallion. Evil eyes bulk. Evil, uh, mini evil eye. Mini. So she has bulk again. Uh, miniature evil eye jewelry tiny charm. Hamsa. Let's see what a hamsa is. I think it could be related, so we'll have it down here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Pins, evil eye, evil eyes, and then her, her um, store because if somebody's looking it up. 
And I think she, it doesn't fit if you do the space. But every once in a while, I would do the spaces between there so people can find you. Okay. Now. Now, I do a lot of stuff with junk journals and things like that. So I would be looking for, actually, we call those dangles or dangle charms. Dangles are looking like earrings. Okay. Let's see what they say. Pendant and dangle charms. And you can go right to the images and see them. So I do think it's a it's a it's a dangle charm. It may not be exactly like the definitely a tag, not a title word. Um, but it can't hurt. Um so I, I'm not sure if I would do junk journal embellishments, but I would definitely have embellishments in there because as junk journal people, we have used stuff like that all the time. Um, so what does it look like on Etsy? Em embellishments oh let's go with it's blue so if somebody's looking for something cool and blue with the eye um see all kinds of her stuff would fit right in there so i like that what happens when we do evil eye is there a lot is there a lot so we've got our boxes, so we're going to go down our boxes. So this is definitely an eagle, evil eye charm. There's 30,000 results. So this is really competitive. Wow, this is really competitive. If she has room, I would definitely do junk journal crafting. Um, just because they're always looking for, okay, then we have unique. So if I was, if I was looking for something unique, unique junk journal embellishment which I would look for on Etsy. Um, even if nothing else, even if she gets up here, because, um, trying to get her out of the 30,000 people. So there's 11,000 searches for junk journal. 51. What about just embellishments? Embellishments isn't so bad either. And that embellishments charm. So I would say for sure embellishments. We're good with that. And that's a nice mix for the what. Now we haven't gotten any more <laughs> into the who, what, why, where, when. Um, but that's lots of keywords for her to use. So 
hopefully that helps. Uh, if you like this series, I'm doing a whole series of this um, about the who, what, where, when, why, and uh, how, how, maybe, how, maybe. I don't know if I have how. Um, although looking at this handcrafted, handmade, handmade, it seems like how might be a good thing to do. But if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up and like it. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Earthly.